While Capitol Hill continues to grapple over health care reform, a piece of technology that could have the potential to actually be a health care industry game changer, drones front and center at the White House today. President Trump is looking to increase the use of drones, which the White House says, quote, has the potential to revolutionize our economy. Our next guest was at the White House. He's there now. He was present during today's meeting with the president. We go to Measure co-founder and CEO Brandon Torres Declet in a Fox Business exclusive. Your company is one of the leaders in all things drone. Uh, this must have been encouraging for you. Tell us what happened and what the president feels about drones. Well, first, thank you for having me. Yes, it was, it was great to be invited here to the White House and by the president so early in this administration. I really think they're looking at the drone industry as a driver of American jobs and ultimately something that's going to give America an edge against uh, other countries that are also trying to push drone technology. Well, uh, let's talk about what the White House believes could be a real opportunity. And we're putting some numbers up on the screen. The FAA believes that we'll see 7 million drones in the skies, whether they're commercial or recreational by 2020. This is an exploding industry, and of course we'd want the U.S. to have a leadership position. Tell us about your company, what it is you guys do, and how you believe the president's vision of this could help you grow. Sure. Well, Measure is one of the leading drone as a service companies. We fly for the Fortune 500. We collect data on their behalf, primarily on infrastructure. We analyze and process that data, and we provide data products back to them. The whole goal is really to improve a process or save them money. We have found with companies like AES, our, our customer and our partner, a global utility company, that if we go out and inspect their solar farms, we're able to identify dead solar panels. We're able to speed up the process of replacing those panels and save them Mm -hmm. save them money. So it's, yeah. it's a fascinating industry to be in and I think ultimately uh, companies like Measure and, uh, and a companies like AES that are leaning forward on this technology are going to uh, get us to first place. Oh, this is fascinating. And, and I know the real estate industry loves it because they no longer have to pay a pilot and a plane to take aerials of, of big houses. Um, as we finish here, did you get any sense from the president that he would cut regulations, which are pretty much brand new, that the FAA mm -hmm. just got out this year uh, on the drone industry? Or are the regulations good as they stand, from your, your opinion? Well, I'll tell you, he had all of the, the top leaders from the administration there. The president was there, the vice president there, the secretary of commerce was there. Uh, I, I think they are very committed to making sure that the regulations are flexible enough for companies like Measure, who are really leading on the safety side, to find uh, the ability to fly when we need to for our customers. I think we're going to see rapid changes in regulation that's just going to make it even easier for us to do what we need to do for our customers. Uh, that's a yes. It looks like fewer and more flexible regulations. Great to have you, Brandon. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Anytime. Brandon Torres de Clet was in that room with the president. He's the CEO of Measure. And we should say that the FBN contributor Robert Wolf, who you see all the time on our shows, is chairman and founder of this company.